Omega Power Ministry Worldwide OPM is a faith-based organization committed to not only the spiritual well-being of members but their physical and social needs as well. The church whose calling is to rescue the downtrodden and empower those from poor background embarked on foreign scholarship program to lift the burdens from poor parents who cannot afford the university education of their children. I'm blessing you, Koi. I was one, one of the girls that they brought at the streets at the 2016. And when I got to OPM, and that they brought us and put us in an estate, free us, free everything, started training us. Before I can't even stand in public talk because of the way my condition is. But today, God has already used that to change me. He brought me, open shop for me, give me new, new house, new life. Still bring my daughter when, when, when I give birth to in my home when I was in the middle. And today, without my daughter, I've already given scholarship outside. And now I'm happy marriage with three. Is it as I meant to not explain too much? By the grace of God, to so one of the people, I went to Cool Breeze to bring. Yes, sir. Went to Cool Breeze Hotel. She was doing prostitution. By the grace of God, I went there, brought all of them out, started business for them. Today, she, the money I opened shop for her, she's doing very well. Through that money, she was able to send one of the other people abroad. From there, when she was doing that thing, she was able to get a husband. The day she said she had gotten a husband to testify, I gave her an estate. That is, she's living in what? That is, how many? Is it? 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. So she's 19. free. So she's renting the other one and staying in the other one. She from nobody. From the streets to the one lady. Now, her daughter. It's Mommy, Daddy has given David scholarship. I sent it. He said he has given my son scholarship. I said that you mean it. That you children they are not going to school. I was not having money again. My school got to not. My children they are no longer going. The first one was going to Calabar, uh, Navy, uh, uh, Marine Engineering. Along the line, there was no money, he stopped. My second son, David, said, Mommy, I am giving you September. I've been taking jam. Because David, from primary three, enter secondary. It was too much. I have been writing jam every time you pass the so No money. He told me that last year, September is the day. He's giving me September. If he doesn't enter school, that what he will do to me, I won't believe it. So, Judah, did you over brought my divine helper? And I came in here. He gave David scholarship. I was jubilating what God did. This my divine helper said it is not enough. He gave my first son scholarship. I was saying, what, what, what is happening now? I don't know myself again. God, that was my real body. I was coming down. I was coming down. I became scared. Anybody? Come and get out this old woman. God will use this my divine helper to give me my three children God gave to me. All scholarship. In fact, he's the only one. He gave me shop. He gave me money to start the shop. It was not enough again that he gave us 1.5 million. I was for my husband. My husband that doesn't smile, you see him every time, you will be angry. When money is not in a man's pocket, that is why you know that. Anger, bitterness. My husband is smiling now. In fact, I am so happy. I am grateful. And my two kids are here. Daddy is trading them. You see, they are getting further. It's not the food that I ate here that has exist more. Even yesterday, I couldn't eat since Daddy said he would take my son abroad. Hey! I said, Jesus, this is my son. God has been showing you well then. 2000 and what? 15, when you finish at the end of 15 years, 
to study medicine and surgery at UNM. The bill was 200,000. Hey, I said that. I said, Jesus, I started calling my brothers, calling everybody. They said they cannot help you, that you should go and borrow money. I did not get money from anybody. I told him to stay. That one, he got 250 something. Hey. That one wasted. He took another job, he got two something. He took another one, they, 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 they said they, they said that they did a school. That they are going to cut off the medicine. To cut the shots, the long story short. Now, God has blessed my son. And he's going to, I did not even dream of him. God, I was even dragging to put him in any school, even polytechnic. Let him go there. He was telling you, he was doing a work and work. So help me to feed the family. This boy you see. He will threat. He went to the Abide. He will threat from room he go to inside Abide. Even my other brother will carry him and pass him. He said, brother, you will not carry him in the car. He will come back and tell him and say, don't worry. God will see us too. This my son. I am proud of him. I am proud of him. And I know as he's going there, he will make it. And he will help others. He will make daddy proud. He will from Imo State. After shouting hallelujah, he turned. He turned. I was in the grand stand though, and it, my four children are four upon that time. But now they are six. I dragged them. We drag hours to the house. Anybody knew that that would go with you? Hey, God. If God make you pick your feet, Amen. So when he came in, he said, You come. Hey, that time that he can rebuke. <laughs> if he call you out, set yourself. <coughs> set yourself. I said, What did I do now? Please be with me. Oh, he said, as I step in my feet here, he said, what I want to give to you, you cannot use it. And he said, won't touch me money. <laughs> oh God, oh my God. <laughs> Where your husband? I said, oh my husband, I follow up on this guy, I'm in trouble today. <laughs> Where is your husband? I said, that he is here. Call him. Where? He said, what is the way? Is he where? <laughs> Do you have the love? You know that our backside. Now, I can get a pet that is carried from the outside, come out. My husband said, everyone, I said, so when my husband, you know, well, I'll be a good thing, I'll be drunk. When he came, both of us were in the altar. He said, God said, that, that car that is part there, that I should not go with you to her. He said, I should give it to you and your family. I felt wrong. Daddy said, come to the house and collect the documents. When we come, came to Daddy's house at about this area. We saw last year Roma in his house. I said, Daddy, no matter another one. He said, because I obeyed God. I obeyed God. Husband and wife brought Tia Roma. That is the secret. As soon as I get my homage, the next day, some homage will go Tia Roma land cruiser. Any time I give out 10,000, I get 1 million. If I get 1 million, as I give out this 2 million now, I'm, by tomorrow I'm expecting 200 million. I hear you! <laughs> After
Sarah time, you see, you cannot maintain it. You can sell it. That is how we were able to sell the Homer Jeep. We bought a smaller car. My husband went for training. In maritime, as I'm talking to you, he works in the sea. He just came down today. He just came down from Topa today and he's here. Since then, our life never remained the same. Speaking at their departure, General Overseer of OPM, Apostle Chibu Zochiniri, who explained the selection process, which include mental examination, said an independent investigation was also carried out to ascertain their poor background, most of whom from Rivers, Akwaibum, and Southeast. It's actually an expensive program to run educational program abroad, especially when it comes to uh, medicine and what have you. That is why the government always do it. But today, the church is sponsoring these persons to Turkey. Tell us, what is your uh, uh, take on this? And then, are there rivers persons? Um, by the grace of God, there are some that are rivers, there are some that are quite born, there are some from other states. Um, it's a non denominational and not tribal program. It's by merit. We took exam, some passed, and we are selected. Um, is in a way trying to lift a lot of people. When you lift one single person in a family, you've lifted the whole family. So that is why I decided to use from the offering and from the tithe to see how this is the first. This we'll be sending a lot of people on scholarship, but this is the first time we send a book. We sending so many, so many to different countries: Canada, US, UK, Cyprus. But this is the first time we send them book. Like this, the amount going now is 16. The first time we send it, 16 book. In fact, it was up to 20. It was up to 20, so four were denied visa, so the remaining 16. So 16 is going book. Next stage again, 20. Using the offering of the text. Also, you, you, you told us that the past exam, apart from the exam, um, what other criteria do they used? Uh, some that have some pathetic story. When I listen to it, if I'm led in the spirit, I do it. If I'm not led, I do it. It's what the spirit of God directs me. When I listen to your story and the Holy Spirit say, this is the one. Because generally the money is not my own. It's God's money. So I just take I just take instruction from him. Whatever God says I should do, I do. Whatever he says I should not do, I do. So I, I can me myself, I can my flesh can say, oh, this is a very particular story. But if God does not approve it, I cannot do anything. So sir, what will happen to those uh, four that were denied of their uh, We have reapplied. So uh, the school has intervened, the school have called the embassy and they say we should reapply again. Because we have finished paying their school fees, we have bought their ticket, everything. So the school don't want to miss such uh, uh, money coming to their school. So the school have, have to send the representative to come down to Nigeria to come and have a meeting with the embassy. So uh, I believe that when they reply, they will give them. Rivers-born Janet Ogbo from Elimi local government area is among the beneficiaries and she alongside others who were interviewed narrated their ordeal in trying to secure university education owing to lack of finance by their parents. They thanked Apostle Chibu Zachiniri and OPM for coming to their aid, promising never to disappoint them. Well, it's not by power. We don't deserve it, but God just made it happen. So we will try our possible best to, to be among the best there, to make OPM proud. It's just like a dream. I pray that God Almighty who have started this will finish it. When they made the start, they found out that I was from a less privileged home and they chose me for this scholarship. And I'm grateful to God. I'm studying medicine and surgery. Some parents could not hold back their joy as they testified on how God used Apostle Chibu Zachiniri to answer their prayers by sponsoring their children abroad for the free scholarship. The cost-effective program is among other free OPM schools, free restaurants, skill acquisition and empowerment program, as well as free donation, especially this Gabonese and his wife who were issued a check of 2 million naira to start up business and better their lives. Like the lady, the lady, uh, um, she from Gabon, she came from the school, she the area. Hallelujah. She wants the daughter to be admitted in the school. And they couldn't, uh, I think whether the child passed or didn't pass. It didn't pass. 
Shout hallelujah. Instantly. That's okay. She's, she's, she, you're not a Nigerian. Abi? Gabon. Is it from Gabon? That's okay. Instant admission to the, for the child to go to the free school. Then I didn't even stop there. I said, oh, you're moving to the free estate. Then I told you, young man, look for a shop. I'm producing 500,000. Look for a shop. Have you seen the place? You see the place now? Bring, bring that check. You are listening to your 500,000 now. I said, look for job. I have, you, have, you have seen the shop, have you? I said, go and look for shop. Once you, have, once you see the shop, come and take 500,000 and pay. Please, please check. Let me write it down. Give you now. What? Hey, Gapo, not, not the Nigerian. So if God is lifting you up, don't discriminate. Don't say, this is you know, This is Igbo. This is Awosa. If you do that, God will not bless you. You see? People don't know the secret why God is blessing me. Let me tell you the secret. Each time I remove 10,000 naira to help the less village, I get 10,000 back. If I, I mean, if I give out 10,000, I get 1 million. If I give 1 million, I get 100 million. They are not related to me. They are happy. And that is what's making God to happy. You are Abraham of our days. Abraham of our day. Yeah. Daniel. Abraham of our day. So follow him. Let me follow. When you like to finish, you come here and let me do the presentation. 500,000. Make a 1 million. What I want to say is this God is lifting you up so that you lift others. 
don't forget where you came from. I slept under the bridge. I was homeless. That is why I am building free estate for people to live free of church. I stayed two days without eating food. That is why I opened free restaurants. I had no clothes. That is why I'm giving clothes to millions of people. There was no money to even go to school. That is why 14 free schools. This is it. Two million. Because it came from orphan and that is God's money. God's money, God money that is coming. God money that is coming. It's planted in a good soil. Amen. As long as you don't stay in your hands, as long as you don't bow down to Satan, you don't do it God, as long as you serve God, you continue to increase. Amen. But the day any part of this money goes to native doctor, oh. you become so poor that even rats will get you. Any day, any part of this money will go to native doctor. You will become so poor that rats will reject you. But as long as you use this money for the work of God, as long as you use this money to invest, you are going to increase. Yeah. You will be so wealthy yeah. that wealthy people will look for you. Yeah. Wealthy people will associate with you. No more about Zion now. No more about Zion. Oh, Zion is over. Oh, wait, when you say Osai, what do you mean? What do you mean Osai? Osai. 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 Shout out to you. I have done this. Electronics. Somebody come. What do you want to buy? Electronics. Adina. What do you want to buy? Cloth. Adina. What do you want to buy? So I know what he's talking about. Shout out to Religious pundits believe the benevolence of OPM has wiped out poverty from these families, urging other religious organizations to emulate the gesture. Performing the handover ceremony, Apostle Chinyere said the gesture was born out of pain suffered by the widow who is also pregnant. According to the man of God, the five flats which include one bedroom apartment for herself and four self-contained to rent out will go a long way to cushioning the effect and ameliorating her sufferings. We are not only saying we are going to, you know, take care of the wife because um, Chima happens to be the, the breadwinner. We are also going to take care of the father and the brothers. So, um, the by, the, yeah, by the grace of God, the road is playing. So, 
so that the thing you can see the 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 father is really devastated. He's in a very 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 uh, 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 sad situation. So we in OPM we don't abandon our own. So we're not only doing that, we still you know I think financially because. Chima is the one feeding and taking care of all this. So at least with this one now, by the grace of God, he stay in this one bedroom flat. There are about five flats here. They will rent those five flats and generate money. Then they live in one. No more house rent, no more this thing. And by the grace of God, um, God's name will be glorified. We think whatever role Chima is playing, we will still take care of him. Because he, he originally it is his father that is, that is his son that is supposed to bury father, not father. So um, now this has happened, Papa. What I'm telling you is this: you will not suffer, unless, or, 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 unless I am not alive. But I know God is going to keep me alive. What you will eat, what you will drink, will never be a problem. By the grace of God. What you will eat, what you will drink will never be a problem by the grace of God. So, while we are still doing more and we continue to do more, and you are free, please, to call my phone. You have my direct number now. Call me, whatever, sisters, whatever it is. I know I've given you people some money to be taking care of yourself. I'll still give you more money There's from the offering and from the tithe. There's, I, I don't have a company. I don't have any business. The only thing I do is God's business. And the offering that comes from God's business, I'm going to use it to take care of you. The one I give to you, the one I give to you, that one is a small one. Because I'm going to still do, give you more money. I'm going to start business. I'm going to, you know, by the grace of God, not by my own power. The training, the school, everything is God. Again, um, Daddy, this property you give now, is it like lease or dash or that sometime you... It's a permanent, it's a permanent by, by, by the grace of God, by tomorrow, once I come back, I'm my way traveling now, all the whole papers, everything, will go to court, register it, it's permanently, not a I've given, we're given estate, we're given houses, so it's not uh, 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 this small property, we have, have, but the church have given out houses, given out estates, so I know, if Chima was alive, he won't want this baby inside the womb to suffer. So this boy must be in an accommodation. So <clears throat> giving this house to her so that the boy cannot be stepping outside. And by the grace of God, I believe that um, the family will not suffer. Because this family, this is the father, this is the wife, this and, and this is the brother. They are, we are all families, okay. They are all families. We're all families. What's your name? My name is Okay. Uh, how do you feel that uh, today the General Assembly of PM is giving you this uh, wonderful uh, foundation? It's just uh, I don't want to talk. Uh, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Please. That will be done. That will be done. Go with blame, brother. That's it. I mean, go with blame, people. And daddy. Tell us, tell us a little experience of how, yeah, how. Have you have you coped since your husband died? Just just say something. Narrate your experience. That is it. Tell us your experience. When you heard about the death, what came to your mind? Exactly. All those thoughts. Now, yes. How do you feel now? I'm feel proud now because of daddy. I'm feel proud now. When you heard about the death. How did you feel? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. We are fainted. I go hospital. I stayed for hospital two, uh, two weeks. I need to cover myself. But by the grace of God now, I'm proud. I'm covered. I'm covered. God will bless me. I will, I will born like a good woman. Also, Daddy will pray, will pray for me. He will pray for me. Let me go. In God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay. 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 okay, Papa. Good evening. Your name, sir. Your name. Ah, girl, again. Your name. So, it's Kevin. So, Chema is my son. 
As it is in happen, I don't know where to start and where to end. So our daddy, Papier, God will bless him, giving him long life and prosperity for him to carry our problem, which I know fit to carry. So see my wife, our daddy, Papier, look after her. God will bless him. God will take control of us. I don't get his friend. I don't get power. I don't have money. I don't have any other person to help me than she. She was only the son of the heart. Who will look after me? As she came and died now, I don't know what to do. So what do you think is my daddy? I use. Until we use to the water. gone in two days, they never eat. Now the system that I'm using, somebody can dash me money, and they can buy biscuits, sugar and for not drink water, or buy this. Uh, now that the, um, the Reverend, the Bishop of OPM has brought support to you, what, what is the new life? Can you tell us how you feel now? and the new life that has come to your family. Following the intervention by yes. OPM. So I'm happy for the daddy as he help us. Okay. So I know expect that uh, daddy will do this, will help us. No, all that to God does everything. We help with him for this uh, condition we did. Thank, Thank you very much. While calling for justice, for the late Chima, the general overseer, Apostle Chibu Zachinyere, also promised to open a business for the widow, register her in OPM Free Hospital, where she will undergo antenatal and postnatals, as well as train the child in OPM Free School before sending the child abroad for tertiary education. In addition, Apostle Chinyere promised to take care of late Chima's parents using church tithes and offerings. How many of it? Two. 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 This is this AK. It's another AK. Yeah. No. Today is second of February, 2020, and these are things that. Um, okay. No ammunition. Okay. So these are um, what was surrendered to the church, and um, 
by the grace of God, we are handing it over to the Nigerian police. They are here on, in, on ground to receive these um, ammunition that have been recovered. And uh, the boys will start rehabilitation where they have taken them and they walk it okay. And uh, the bulletproof vest and uh, and all the weapons we are handing over and we will commence rehabilitation of um, the repentant cultists. And by the grace of God, um, police have been very cooperative. And uh, we thank God for the Nigerian police. We thank God for the IG, uh, Inspector General of Police. We thank God for the Commissioner of Police. We thank God for the Commander of anti cultism God has really used them to reduce cultism in Nigeria, in River State, and Niger Delta. So, by the grace of God, with the partnership OPM Omega Power Ministry, by the grace of God, I'm the general vice of the Chief of the By doing, uh, by the grace of God, there will be no more crime in River State, in Niger Delta, and in Nigeria. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.